Mauna Loa eruption can cause health problems for both communities and wildlife. KITV Forest Chloe Markley spoke with a biologist to find out how the eruption can affect animals. The Mauna Loa eruption is not only a danger to people, but can also be harmful to animals on land and in the water. And sea animals here on Oahu beaches could be affected by this eruption, even though it's far away. Anytime it's too hot, it's too ashy, it's hard to breathe, everything suffers, right? I mean, and that's it doesn't matter if you're an animal or if you're a human being, if you're breathing in plumes of smoke or toxic chemicals, it's very, very hard on you. Vog from the Mauna Loa eruption can be detrimental to animals and impair the respiratory function. That's why many animals, especially birds, have migrated away from the lava flow to escape the toxic air. The Vog is also affecting their flying ability and feeding activity, but Galante says animals are prepared to recover from these effects. I think animals are better suited to it than we are. You know, they're in evolutionary time, they've learned to live with volcano eruptions and adapt around them, unlike human beings. Along with land animals, marine life may suffer from the increase in acidity. It could even kill some sea animals if it reaches high levels. As for farm animals, they don't have the ability to relocate. So Galante recommends protecting them from the toxic air by keeping them in the barn so they could breathe clearer. He says if an animal is on the side of the road and seems to be struggling, you can offer them water or food, but says letting them be is usually the best option. Anytime humans interfere with wildlife, it has a negative consequence and not a positive one. Keeping your pets indoors as much as possible can help them avoid developing breathing issues from the VOG. Experts say animals shouldn't experience any long-term effects from this eruption, and once the eruption is over, their lives should return back to normal. Reporting in Honolulu, Chloe Markley, KITV4 Island News.